Hello, I'm Liz. Welcome to Kitchen Science. Today we're making popping boba and we're going to do this with a process called spherification. In this container, there is calcium chloride. In this little packet, there is sodium alginate. This packet contains a food safe syringe. Let's get started. So let's go through some troubleshooting together of how to make popping boba. Here I'm using apple cider, pouring it into a drinks mixer, and then adding the sodium alginate. I blended this for about two minutes. Here you can see that my juice is very full of air and it's very thick. So I took that and I placed it in the fridge for overnight, but it never became more liquidy. It was as thick as it was, and I have determined that the apple cider was too acidic. I tried again with grape juice, this time taking my cup of juice and pouring it into a blender instead of a drinks mixer. I also decided to start the blender add my sodium alginate, and then add the rest of my juice mixture, because I heard that that can get a better blend. Let's move on to our second solution, which is a 1% solution of water and calcium chloride. You just stir that up until the calcium chloride is fully dissolved. I am calling this video troubleshooting because this didn't work. If I slow down this video of adding the sodium alginate, you can clearly see that the high speed of the blender just flung it up over the sides and it didn't actually make it into my juice. Here I am trying again, adding the sodium alginate right into the juice. I gave it a little stir this time, trying to convince it to incorporate, and then I whizzed the blender on high speed for about two minutes. I poured the juice into a cup, but this time I was far too impatient to wait for the bubbles to come out of my juice, so I just grabbed my solution of calcium chloride and my syringe and tried making popping boba. I'm so excited to say that this time it actually worked. I just made tiny little drips into the calcium chloride solution and the juice congealed and I had little bubbles. I drained these off into a cup of clean water and I was done. Despite all the trial and error, I found this to be a very fun project and I hope that you enjoy too.